Today I'll be doing a tutorial for how to create a recovery flash drive for your Lenovo Windows 8 desktop. Unfortunately, uh, a lot of these desktop systems do not include a CD drive, I mean a CD recovery tool anymore. They just expect you to make it yourself and for this Lenovo desktop that I got uh, it's a Lenovo B540 all-in-one desktop also my friend who has an H430 desktop he, he also doesn't have a recovery tool I mean recovery CD so you have to make your own recovery uh, drive if you if you want to just in case let's say your hard drive breaks down and you want to restore the hard drive onto another hard drive. Um, there's another uh, recovery tool that you can use um, that's also included in Windows. So these are two, this is one of the two methods that you can use to uh, make a backup. This will, this will, what I'm going to outline will allow you to copy the recovery partition that's on these pre-built systems onto the USB flash drive so that if anything happens to your current hard drive you can reinstall everything from the flash drive. So this is how to create a recovery flash drive. Uh, so again this is for Lenovo Windows 8 desktop but could be extended to other desktops that are Windows 8. You'll need a 16 gigabyte USB flash drive and admin privileges. So I've already inserted my flash drive and I want to go into control panel to open recovery. Uh, you can do this by changing the filter view by to small icons and then you'll see recovery. There's another way to navigate through all that stuff but I just think this is easier. Click on recovery and then you'll want to select uh, create recovery drive and when you do this user account control pop-up should appear if it does just click yes that's why you should be an admin when doing this my screen is going to go blank because I can't do a video of that so next step is to make sure you're copying the recovery partition so make sure that check mark is checked and then go ahead and click next and then it'll ask you what drive you want to create the recovery drive on and my drive my flash drive is E so just click next and then it'll ask you if you want to do it for sure I just click next and then it goes through the whole process of creating your recovery drive. So this is a very slow process if you're using a USB 2.0 drive. It's 16 gigabytes, you know, running at a very slow rate. So um, I'm just gonna do this, let this video go for a minute or so, and then. So we started the process at around 9.48. Um, and right now it's saying copying utilities. After that it'll say some other stuff and then it'll say copying partition. So it's currently creating the recovery drive and it'll take some time so let's fast forward let's fast forward about let's say 40 minutes and so we're fast forwarding 40 minutes about 40 minutes to if you look at the clock it's changed to about 40 minutes. I actually pre-recorded this. So it's still running. 
and it's saying copying the recovery partition. So again, I'm going to go ahead and skip this to the very last part. For me, it, it, it take, took a really long time. If you have a USB 3.0 flash drive, it'll be a lot quicker. So here I am skipping to the last part where it's almost done. So it's almost an hour. I started at 9.48, now it's 10.42. Um, again, I pre-recorded this, so I'm going to type that it looks like it's taking 50 minutes when it actually took about an hour. But we'll let this go through. Uh, once it's done, if you want to use the flash drive, you just make sure to go into BIOS and boot from the flash drive. And then you can use it like any other recovery tool to reinstall Windows onto, let's say, uh, a new SATA hard drive. So this is something you should definitely try to do as soon as possible. And the last part I mentioned, don't click on delete the recovery partition that's on your current hard drive. So you don't want to do that. You want to just go ahead and click finish. I don't know why they even give you this option, but I guess if you want to save space on your hard drive. So just click finish, and you're done. And so that's it. Uh, you could probably use this method with other computers that are running Windows 8.